So we are right in the middle. We're living through what's going to be seen as one of the biggest revolutions in human health through the gathering of data about our bodies. Yeah. 20 years ago, people didn't want to go on social media. They're worried about it. Now you have to if you're a kid, that's for sure. Uh, same with medical records. These are becoming all digitized and, and expanded. Ultimately, we're going to, even if we don't want to, have to be monitored. You know, there's going to be a court case that I, I bet two, three years from now, someone's going to say, how come my father died from a heart attack? You had these biosensors, 20 bucks, and you didn't use it. Mm -hmm. Lawsuit right there. And suddenly all hospitals have to give you one of these. I, I've got this inside tracker data for, for myself over a decade. And you'd think my doctor would roll his eyes at this. Oh, he's gone to a consumer company, blah, blah, blah. I, I had my first checkup in a year with him through video conference. And he was running blind. He really didn't know what was going on with me. He asked the usual things. How am I sleeping? How am I eating? These kind of usual things. And I said, well, I've got new tests back from Inside Tracker. And he said, great, I'd love to see them. So I share screen and we look at the graphs, look at the data. And he's loving it because mm -hmm. he cannot order these tests willy-nilly. So I said, well, let, let's order a... HbA1c, blood glucose levels, because I'm very interested in that. That tracks with longevity. And he said, well, I have no reason to order that. Do you have a family history? No. Uh, are you, do you have any symptoms of diabetes? No. Well, I can't order the test. I almost wanted to reach through the computer and strangle him. Um, <laughs> but instead, you know, I, I pay a little bit to get these tests done, and then he looks at them. So that's now the way consumer health is going, is that you can get better data than your doctor can, and but they like you to do that we've probably lost the last generation um, that they're, they're no hopers but so I, I teach at Harvard Medical School mm -hmm. and they're excited about this they're excited about aging which is a new aspect to medicine oh wow we can do something about that <laughs> um, and then yeah all this data what do we do with it there's still the traditional pathology and all that stuff which they need to know yes. but I you know, time will change their their uh, mindset I'm not worried about that and like we were discussing this isn't a question of if it's just a matter of when and it's you know i have a front row seat on all of this mm -hmm. uh i had breakfast with a with a ceo who uh is making this happen uh, just yesterday i can tell you for sure that most people have no idea that this revolution is occurring and is happening so quickly uh, if you're running a hospital and you can save two thousand dollars per cardiac patient what are you going to do you have to use it um, otherwise mm -hmm. you know the hospital down the road's going to be uh, beating you um, and there, there are large hospital aggregations so there's ascension and others that just have to go this way for budgetary reasons and right now the u.s spends what is it 17 percent of their gdp on healthcare. for let's say one of these buttons on my chest costs 20 bucks it's rechargeable and it can predict people's health and save on antibiotics pr prevent uh, heart attacks how many billions if not trillions of dollars will that save uh, over the next decade well, and the CFOs of hospital yeah. groups will have to and insurance companies are going to want to yeah. get in on this so now that gets to privacy right If should an insurance company have access to your data I would say no but you could voluntarily show them some of it if they give you a discount and that's also being worked on right now <laughs>